Can ChatGPT harness the riches of opium to become a global power in Victoria 3? Yeah, you read the title right. We all know ChatGPT is a goody two shoes, uh -huh. so today I made it do something bad. <laughs> opium. Uh -huh. Stay away from kids' drugs. Our story begins in 1836 as New Granada. Just five years ago, we had been Gran Colombia, a prosperous nation stretching across most of northern South America. But obviously things weren't so great anymore. To begin, we needed to tell ChatGPT the current state of the world. This boiled down to two main things. Firstly, we were ruled by a president, and last time I checked, cartels don't really have elections. Secondly, our neighbor Brazil was having an existential crisis. <laughs> me too, buddy. Me too. Anyways, after telling Pablo esque AI bar the country wasn't gang infested enough, it gave us a comprehensive plan to follow. Now, I won't read everything since it's long, so let me summarize it. Basically, ChatGPT wanted to invest its entire life savings into opium plantations. Our people would be eating poppies for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now this was a great idea. Just in the game, not in real life. YouTube, please don't ban me. Firstly, we needed to establish the cartel. Cartels are not ruled by wealth voting, so we want to shift over to autocracy. After throwing some money at the army to ensure loyalty, we then began researching more effective ways to shoot our enemies. We have one opium producing state. Okay, it's my capital state of Condina Marca. Yeah, I, I don't know any Spanish. The only Spanish I know is Nihauma. To begin, we began expanding our construction sectors and iron mines. After all, the faster we could build our opium farms, the better. Actually, before we build an iron mine, let's first build an opium plantation. Basically, I think how it works is if we have a surplus in supply over demand, then there's a like higher chance that our people get obsessed with opium. I think that's how it works. After designating land for the foundations of our first opium farm, we asked Pablo Esk AI Bar what our next move should be. Its answer was crazy. <laughs> so like the loyal and totally not blackmailed family not being held hostage servant I am, I prepared the troops and let the world know of our intention on reclaiming Ecuador. Look at how tiny they are. This, did Victoria 3 get an update? They're so tiny. They look like little action figures. Look at that. Our army, funded by none other than the GPT cartel, crossed through the jungle and faced the enemies from the other side of the river. South America would soon go up in flames. Immediately, our soldiers swarmed the unassuming Ecuadorians, cutting down their lines with ease. The rivers ran red with their blood. By the end of the month, our enemies surrendered, swearing fealty to our cartel king, ChatGPT. In one fell swoop, the GPT cartel was gaining power. And there you have it, Ecuador is part of us now. They're in support of the cartel. Shortly after, our first opium plantation was constructed. And look, we got autocracy. Nice. But there was a problem. Nobody in our nation had heard of this opium thing, so nobody wanted to buy any, instead opting for liquor or tobacco instead. Aww. We needed to figure out how to get our people addicted to opium. <laughs> that sounds so wrong out of context. So your favorite YouTuber Chum came up with a genius plan. First, we began trading away all of our liquor and tobacco, driving their prices sky high. Then, with the power of corruption, we began funneling state funds into our opium farm. With the money, the farm began hiring more employees. Look, people are buying it now. People are buying the opium. It's going up. Yes, buy it. Because it's so cheap, people are buying it now. With the recent success, ChatGPT decided to invest in a few more farms. But not everybody around the world loved opium. <laughs> Exactly, zero countries in the world wanted to buy our premium poppies. The only one we would make a killing off had banned opium in their entire country. Everyone else in the world wanted tobacco or liquor. Yeah, okay guys, I can't export opium. <laughs> Literally nobody wants it. Ugh, this is rough. We just need to get our people addicted to opium. As more and more opium plantations were built, the drug became cheaper than dirt. We had to figure something out fast because domestic consumption was not making us rich. Then I had the craziest idea ever. You see, we were already exporting liquor and tobacco to Brazil. But what if we stopped providing those and traded them only opium instead? With the sudden loss of supply, the price of those other drugs should skyrocket. 
and in theory, they would drown their sorrows in our cheap opium instead. If this worked, the booming population of Brazil would become opium addicts, and the cartel would make millions. I think, okay, this is chumonomics here. I think if we cancel our exports of tobacco and liquor, they're gonna start eating up the, the opium, I think. But would it be enough? They want it, look! Look it, but they want it now. It shot up. Chumonomics! Oh, 59. Look, 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 they want more opium now. 22. <laughs> look. <laughs> look, they're all shifting the opium now. 32. <laughs> You're the Brazilians. Look at our GDP shooting up. 37. What the heck? The oh, <laughs> 42. 47. They're buying all of our opium. They're buying all the drugs. You know, we got the Brazilians hooked on opium. Oh my gosh! Holy crap, man. This is a funny video. As more and more Brazilians became addicted to our opium, ChatGPT doubled down on production. Over the next few years, opium farm after opium farm was constructed. In no time, we were one of the top producers in the world. Chumonomics, boys. Now that the cartel had substantial revenue from opium sales, ChatGPT decided it would be best to invest in our arms industry. After all, the guys with the biggest guns make the rules. Fun fact, I'm a national powerlifter from America. I got some pretty big guns, so you have to do what I say. Like and subscribe. Over the next few months, arms dealers from across the country received bonuses and tax write-offs. Soon, we were producing oogles of guns. Wait, what oogles? I have no idea what that means. With boatloads of drug money and weapons, cartel lord Pablo Escaibar decided now was the time to subjugate Venezuela and finally reunite Gran Colombia. But there was one problem. Brazil wanted to kill us. With ChatGPT's approval, we gave Brazil our Amazon territories in hopes that would keep them from protecting Venezuela. If they didn't join, we would surely crush the enemy. But if Brazil did send troops, well, we would be in for a bad time. Alright, we're going for it. We're going for it. Let's mobilize, boys! Mobilize the army! As our troops marched to the front lines, we waited desperately for news of Brazilian intervention. Yeah, this is the war that will allow us to form Grand Colombia once we get nationalism. We waited and waited until... Yes, we're good! We're set! We're set! Our cartel, funded by massive amounts of opium money, rolled over Venezuela in mere weeks. It was a massacre. By the end of the month, the GPT cartel controlled all of their land, and soon, they surrendered. Oh yeah! Beautiful! The cartel was growing in power. After integrating our puppets, we would be unstoppable. All right, nice. So Ecuador is on board with forming Gran Colombia. Now we just need a lower autonomy for Venezuela. And then once we get nationalism, boom, we're set. For the next few months, ChatGPT's sole purpose was to multiply opium production. Soon, Colombia was going to be the heart of the world's drug empire. <laughs> day by day, heaps of opium were harvested and sent across the nation. What wasn't consumed was then shipped over the border to Brazil, whose appetite for opium was growing out of control. Each day, more and more Brazilians became addicted to opium. <laughs> Look at our GDP! More and more opium farms were built. People were eating opium right off the poppy. Oh, we can get a trade agreement with Brazil. <laughs> In no time, we shot up to fourth producer worldwide. ChatGPT had transformed a poor country into one of the most prosperous drug empires in the entire world. Each day, the cartel grew richer and the claws of opium sharper. Before long, Ecuador and Venezuela cried out for their true king, ChatGPT, to rule them. My people, I have brought prosperity to you. All I ask is you join me in it. Gran Colombia shall be the richest nation in the world. The glorious nation of Gran Colombia was reborn, ruled by none other than the cartel lord, ChatGPT. Nothing could stop them. What? Well, my game crashed. Now watch this video. Mom, I'm finally a YouTuber. I got Patreon supporters. Thanks to them. It means the world to me. Link in description.